In this video, I'm going to go over number 10 and number 11 on 3.9. And these are using the derivative of a log that isn't base 10 or base e, ln. And there's a thing to kind of note here. In your book, we can take the derivative with respect to x of a log base b of x. And really what we're doing is we're using the change of base formula to write this as ln of x over ln of b, where ln of b is just a constant. It's not a variable here. So if I want to take the derivative of this, this is a constant, so I can pull that out, and I get 1 over x. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I get 1 over ln of b times the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x. So this here is the derivative of log base b of x. You can remember this formula, or you can just remember the change of base, and anything that you have that is not uh, a natural base or base 10, you can change this as 5, and then this would be ln of x to the fourth minus 8 divided by ln of 2. And then find the derivative of this function. The 5 and the ln of 2 are a constant, so you can just pull them out. When I take the derivative, so the derivative of this function, y prime, is going to be 5 over ln of 2, that's a constant, times the derivative of the function. So this function here is going to be the derivative of the outside function, the derivative of an ln of something, it's 1 over that something, times the derivative of the inside. And the inside's a polynomial, x to the fourth minus eight. The derivative of that would be four x cubed minus zero. So I'm gonna leave it like that. So here, I know it kind of looks like it's kind of crazy here, but if I change it, I'm just dealing with a constant out front, and I can clean this up, and I would have, what do I have? 20 x cubed over ln of two times the quantity x to the fourth minus eight, and that is gonna be my derivative of this log base two function. Really, you could also just kind of pull it out to know that you're gonna have one over this ln of b, being b is the base, and then treat it like a natural log. We look at the second one, a little bit more things kind of going on here. I have this log base six of x, and I'm gonna turn out, I'm gonna, this is not the correct answer here, I'm going to rewrite this, um, or I could take the derivative here, I could say y equals 1 over ln of x divided by ln of 6. And I could simplify that as ln of 6 over ln of x. Then I could use the few different things I can do here. Um, I could use the product rule, and if I want to use the product rule, I could take the derivative as the derivative of the top, ln of 6 is a constant. So the derivative of the top is zero, hold the bottom, which zero times the derivative of the bottom, I'll go ahead and write that just because, minus the derivative of the bottom, which is one over x, hold the top over the bottom squared, and then cleaning it up, I would get minus ln of six times one over x, and I could actually write that in the denominator here times ln of x squared. Um, I could also write it as just minus 1 over x ln of 6 over ln, oops, that should be ln of x, not 2, ln of x quantity squared. Another thing I could do here is I could rewrite this. I could write this as ln of 6 times ln of x to the negative first power and use the chain rule. This is just a constant. So if I want to take the derivative here, I would take y prime. It's going to be, I leave the constant out front, and then I take the derivative of the outside function, which in this case would be something to the minus 1. So it's going to be minus 1 to the ln of x quantity minus to the, sorry, quantity minus two power. Take times the derivative of the inside function, in this case the inside function is ln of x, so the derivative of one over x. And you can see this is the exact same as this. 
I can clean it up and kind of move it around, but I get the same answer there. So there's a couple different ways to look at this um, problem. Hopefully it kind of helps to look at it as just ln of x, and you can see where this ln of 6 comes from, and then it, you can manipulate it if you like the quotient rule. You can apply the quotient rule if you'd rather use the product rule. In the case this is a constant, you're really just using the chain rule here. Derivative of the outside evaluated the inside times the derivative of the inside. And any way you put that in to my math lab, it should accept it. You want to be very careful with your parentheses and stuff, um, but that should be good to go. Any other questions, please let me know.